To our show. Our conversation this morning is centered on influences and consequences. Now, I love looking up definitions. No matter how simple or commonly used that word is, I like to look it up. So I decided to check out what's the meaning, the real definition of the word influence. And all mine, I saw so many definitions, but two stood out to me. So let me read those two to you. The first one says, um, influence is the capacity to have an effect on character development and attitude of someone or something. The second one says, influence is the power to cause change without directly applying force. That means that influence is indeed a very powerful. Depending the source of the influence, the resultant effect could be positive or a negative. How can we as a nation, as parents, as stakeholders avoid negative influence so that our society will be happier and healthier for it? My name is Patience Eloi Abba and this is Weekend Deal. I am not alone. I am with the beautiful, delectable, influential. I must ask that you know that. <laughs> oh, Patience Eloi. What's up today? Wow, great to be here with you as always. It's Weekend Deal. And together, we are having guys of precious gist. And how we carry this gist today will determine what the outcome will be. That's why we always say our show is interactive. On Weekend Deal, we like to hear what your opinion is, what your experiences, what the situations have shaped you have been. We never thought at a time in our nation's history we'll be talking about topics such as this. It's of great import, and we take it very, very seriously. It was Nelson Rolilala Mandela who said that it always looks impossible until it's it done. At this point, we don't know which way the cookie will crumble. What we do know is that when we work together, we build rather than set apart. Let's do it together as usual on Week and Deal. My name is Thelma. Obase, welcome. It is time for us to bring body, mind, and soul together in a unified form to ensure well being. It is time for yoga. Raise your knee, walk towards your trunk. Namaste. Hello to everyone. I am Diktiranjan Mahanti, a trained yoga teacher from High Commission of India, Abuja. She is Tinasi. Today, we will perform Marjari Asana. Marjara means cat. So, Marjari Asana, cat stretch pose. Before that, we should know the contraindication. Those who are suffering from sleep disease, cervical spondylitis, they should avoid this posture. Now, release your legs. Now, come to Vajrasana. Thunderbolt posture. Sit above your both feet. Both hands on your knees. Now stand on your both knees. Come forward. Both hands on the floor. Now separate, slightly separate your both knees. Both hands parallel to your both thighs. Now both hands and both th thighs para perpendicular to the floor. Now breathe in. Raise your head up. Arc back. Make a concave shape through your spine. Breathe out. Bring your head in between the arms. Make a hunt shape. Breathe in. Raise your head. Compress your arc back. Spine down. Breathe out. Head in between arms. Make a hunt shape. Look towards your navel. 
contract your abdomen towards your back breathe in raise your head up breathe out head in between two arms make a horn shape through your spine once more breathe in breathe out maintain this posture up to 5 second now breathe in breathe out head down repeat this posture 5 to 10 times for general health now release the posture come to Vajrasana Thunderbolt posture sit above your both heel both hands on your knees Marjari Asana Cat Stretch Pose This asana improves the flexibility of the neck, shoulders and spine. It gently tones the female reproductive system, giving relief from menstrual cramps and leukohoria. Raise your knee, walk towards your from exercise of mind, body, soul, spirit to improve tenacity and to manage ailments, it's time to take our first break on Weekend Deal. Don't go away, we'll be right back. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, it is Weekend Deal coming to you from the network service of the MTA. Our focus this morning is on influences and consequences. We said earlier that influences are powerful and they come from different sources. So we must be careful what we allow to influence us. No worries, uh, Francis, as usual, has put together this beautiful piece that will not only um, put shine more light on our topic of discussion, but also kickstart our conversation uh, this day. <laughs> Creative industry is very important because it helps to drive our history and spread our history about tell our story the way it should be told so we can own it. The record labels are like investment companies whereby they have the cap resources, they are looking for the best or the next best thing they want to put their money into and make money off it. We have a whole lot of record labels. Mobad is just one of them. There was Brimo. He had an issue with his own record label. There was C. C. She had an issue with her own record label. Is it me, D? He had an issue with his own record label. And most of them, their, their careers took a nosedive. Most of they, those ones didn't die, but just that their career just, just died. The minute you sign a record label, they get you a car, they get you a house, they change your wardrobe. You think you've arrived. So all of a sudden, you now begin to post pictures. They take you to amazing places where you never thought you could be before. So those things tend to distract a lot of people. And people forget to now focus on the talent. So everybody is desperate to be under a record label because record labels paint a picture that if you are not under them, you cannot use, in quotes, blue. Mubat's case is not the first issue. I remember very when I was growing up, Sonny Adi had issue with one man, is he a bureau or something, I don't even know the name, but, and he sang songs to tell us the story. So every time throughout the eras, there have always been people who want to capture a sector of the community and want you to subscribe or go through them for you to be able to do anything. That will never cease. What we need to do is to find a way of regulating them or preparing people who want to operate in those sectors to know Mubad doesn't happen to other artists, I will say first and foremost, as you grow, you who is an artist must have 
18. Secondly, if you cannot read and write like Ari Kelly, then what you should do, get a legal team. Because these record labels have legal teams. So why don't you think you should have a legal team? If you cannot pay for anything, pay for a good legal team. When I mean legal team, not a crowd, just one person. There should be somebody in your area that you know that is a lawyer, that somehow some way believes in your talent. Bring him on board. Because one of the challenges these artists have is they do not understand the legal documents they are signing and sign themselves into problems. So there are a whole lot of things that you, you as an artist should look out for when you are going into these record labels. Half of the time, they are not even empowered to begin to check what is with the producer, what is with the label. Half of the time, they don't even look at the small letters of the contract because they just want to manifest. It's only when they manifest, they now begin to check, oh, what am I getting for manifesting? When people begin to talk to them and they begin to know that there's so much money that their producers or ever their promoters are making and they are not making much. It happens in all entertainment, not only in music. You're seeing footballers having problems with their promoters and their agents because somebody somewhere is cheating someone because it's a selfish community. The system is... Have you ever seen a Tony Lumilu sack trouser? We seriously need to work on our value system. The parents must sit back and become intentional about raising the next generation. The schools must be intentional about the curriculum that they are teaching these children in school. The church must be intentional about the things that the Lord has laid upon their spirit to teach people. The mosque must be intentional because we are faced with an erosion of value in the places. And if it is all over the place and it is widespread and it's become universal, then there must be a people that will stand in the gap to say, no, we are not going to let this happen to us. Our focus on Weekend Deal today will be on influences and consequences. Today on Weekend Deal, hopefully we'll be charting a very unusual course. We're opening up something that many have ignored over time or perhaps thought it was of little importance. We're seeing that that may not be the case. We have experts in the house who will help us chart this course and respond to your experiences, your situations, and your questions. Very soon, we'll unveil our first guest. But before then, let's go on to record labels and their influence on artists as we touch down in Lagos. Stay with us. Self-confidence, commitment, patience, determination, discipline, and ability to deal with criticism and rejections are the fundamental characteristics of a trained vocalist and a good musical artist. These artists work in a variety of musical styles and genres like pop, rock, hip hop, classicals, among others. Many musical artists choose to write their own songs while others look for writers to write for them. Most artists with great lyrics that need exposure always consider signing a record label who helps to promote, distribute and market their music. People most times complain of abuse on some young artists. 
What are the ways a young musician can identify the record label that can impact positively on their music? Lately, there's, there's been um, a little hit on the media about um, the Mubat um, saga you got on how uh, the relationship between the artist and uh, the record labels have been dealt with here in, in Nigeria. Um, from my experience as an artist, I I got signed into um, a record label yes uh, last year, and along the line, it it hasn't been easy. Trust me, it's not easy anywhere. You got, but by God's grace, God has been faithful to us. Truth be told, many artists are really going through it in this industry. Many are dying in silence. Many can't speak up about what they are going through with their management. The fact is that some management are time wasters and some are good in the sense that they know about the music business. Some just sign artists to like hope that they will make fortune out of them and um, once the artists drop one or two singles and they are not getting that revenue they've expected, they tend to like ignore the artist, but the needs, his personal needs and um, and the platform that the artist is meant to ride on, they just feel maybe the artist is not good enough and uh, they get tired and... Um, People most times complain of abuse on some young artists. I, I think I'm one of the people who have been privileged to be on both sides of the negotiation table. That's the label side and the artist side. And it's, it's very important for the artist that before you get into any, any kind of deal, you have a manager that knows what he's doing. And by knowing what he's doing means that whatever you're signing, you know every terms, every clause, every condition in the contract, so you don't sign the contract and you are taken unaware. What are the ways a young musician can identify the record label that can impact positively on their music? I believe like an artist is first a person before an artist and this helps me um, have this good relationship with uh, whoever I'm managing. So but for any artist out there, it can get really, really rough when you are in the wrong management, you're in the wrong label. But I just want to say out there, if you are facing any challenge, there are associations that are out there that can help you. Uh, for artists, there's a, a professional music musicians association p-man that you can get registered in when you have an issue they will, they have a legal team they can come and and um, um, fight for you defend you and everything creative minds like musicians help in reducing stress and anxiety it also creates impressive lyrics for the society choose a good record label that will help launch and sustain your work in the society Remember always to involve your legal practitioners while signing your contract so as to avoid consequences that may occur within the period of the contract. Before putting pen to paper, signing that contract I've been looking forward to, you must read it carefully. Um, Thelma, Thelma. These artists say they are going through a lot. It says, I mean, what do you think about the signees and their labels and so many complaints? Is there anything earlier, we're not getting right? Earlier in the background feature, mm. um, Ogene Rimer said that before an artist even approaches a record label, he should have his team. He should have a team a of his team. on top of people he's familiar with and who have his best interests at heart. Yeah. Because in times past, I first want patience to succeed mm -hmm. before me. Yes. Nowadays, it's not that way. But the record label want to even succeed. I heard of the answers of the guests. And a lot of the well, Okay, so um let's move on quickly. Um, bullying is something the society frowns about, especially 
we fall upon bullying from every ramification, especially in schools. What influences some children to become bullies? And why are some children always at the receiving side? And what are the consequences even on the bullies and the bullied? Well, NTA Port Harcourt will wrap this up nicely and tell us more. Let's watch. What's the problem? 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 Bullying is all out here. Bullying, an act that is fast destroying today's generation, especially the youths. Bullying is rampant all over the world. People are bullied. Students, adults, in our society today, is rampant. Because people want to humiliate others and deprive them of their self-esteem. This is found almost everywhere and most common in schools. It's very common among Nigerian students for them to bully others. They do it to, to make themselves feel big over others, maybe due to problems at home, things they face before, things they don't feel confident about themselves so many other reasons we have noticed that over the years that senior students some senior students use their fact that they are huger or bigger in size than the junior students and tend to oppress them some students may not have self-esteem some may may not have one thing or the other that they are not really proud of themselves and in order to give themselves that confidence they tend to pick on the younger ones try to make them feel better about themselves. Bullying affects students both psychologically, both mentally and physically because you are actually not dignifying the student. You're making the student feel less of himself. A student can be bullied when you call them names, when you call them names. That sometimes it can even be more hurtful than you hitting the person. The negative impact of bullying, if not checked, may lead to lawlessness and, at the extreme case, loss of lives. After I've been forced to do what they're not supposed to do, so actually, many have been coerced. You understand me? You see, some of them involved themselves in some illegitimate activity, some will be doing drugs. We have peers bullying each other. People have been bullied and they died. You don't know where the power of the child is. You can just shove the child and the child falls down and dies. As we have seen in the social media, a lot has happened in some schools and they went to social media to describe what happened. So people, institutions have their laws against bullying and even the federal government, the institutions like schools, like ours, we have student conduct code and we have in, in our school here, we have zero tolerance. Even the parents join us to make sure that bullying doesn't happen. We have tried to put some measures in action to prevent the bullying of junior students from senior students. First of all, on resumption, when students are to resume to school, we are all given a zero tolerance policy. In that policy, it states, clearly states that you are not allowed to bully your junior or senior going to each other's hostel. And students are made to sign, the parents are also made to sign and our school guidance counselor is also signs to ensure it. Hence, the call for action for all to say no to bullying. Say no to bullying. The after effects, the side effect, the traumatic effect sometimes last longer than you can even imagine. Some people are living with PTSD today as we speak because of um, issues such as this. Hence, we invite you be a part of the conversation and share your experiences as we go along. It's time to unveil our first guest. Yes. Augustine Amodu, a retired director of public affairs with the Copyright Commission. Mr. Amodu, fantastic time to have you with us on Weekend Deal as we talk about influences and consequences. 
Uh, thank you. I'm very elated and happy to be here with you this morning. Um, earlier, Ogunowin has said something which um, I think should start any new journey one needs to embark on. If you are going to a place you have not been before, the usual thing is to do some research about where you're going. And if need be, take a friend or two along. And in the case of a, um, an artist, a talented person, a creative person, it is assumed that you don't just enter uh, a record label completely uninhibited and on, uh, without all the knowledge that you require. How does it go? Tell us. Um, I will just want to touch here and there. Um, I would like to let you know that under the watch of the present Director General of the Nigerian Copyrights Commission, he has um, tried all his possible best to make sure that copyright education is everywhere. Mm. The Copyright Commission is the police of the industry. And because they are the police of the industry, many artists don't even know where their offices are in Nigeria. Mm. It's as simple as googling or going to the website of the commission to see what we have done. Some people don't even know that the Copyright Commission, the Copyright Act uh, has been elevated to, to that of 2022 which um, the commission is using today there are so many things that an artist ought to know before signing to a record label the first thing i would like to say is that there is what we call collective societies these collective societies are where you get registered as an artist and they are the ones in charge of giving uh, what we call sharing royalties to artists. It's, they call it a collective management organization, especially for music. There is that for literary works. Uh, if an artist wants to sign a record label, the artist should look carefully at what he's signing. If possible, the office, the Copyright Commission is open for any artist to go and ask questions. How do I do this? How do I do that? You don't just walk into a deal without understanding exactly what you are doing. And that is why they are facing what they are facing. Because you go into a deal, you do not understand exactly this is what I am doing. So you need to know what you are doing. So under the watch of this DG, he has made sure that he has attended so many programs. He has made sure that there is copyright education everywhere, both in secondary schools. Okay, but let's say um, you've put pen to paper already, and you're already in, with the record label, and things are not going right. Is there anything that um, the Copyright Commission can just step in? Can they still write a wrong? Let's say you already signed and you didn't do due diligence. It, can, can anything be done? In the new Copyright Act, that is Copyright Act 2022, it is clear there is provision for uh, what we call arbitration. Okay. There is provision to settle disputes even out of court. Oh. Uh, you see, under, under the Copyright Act, the copyright uh, officer has the powers to arrest, he has the powers to uh, he has the powers to go to court. He has the powers to uh, to enter premises where he has suspected, reasonably suspected, mm. that a crime has been committed under the Copyright Act. So we are the, the Copyright Commission is the police of the industry. Mm. As I speak to you, there are capable officers in that commission that will deal with issues appropriately. Trained officers. Mm. But let's come to the commission that you're talking about now. Um, like you said, many of the artists and even their managers are not quite aware of how vibrant the commission can be and how we can bring their speedy resolutions to issues should they arise. What about engaging them? Because there's a task ahead. And I know that um, before we go back to yesterday's, where we seem not to have issues like this, to this extent, is the commission finding a fora where it engages artists and their record labels as well? Is there such a thing ongoing? Uh, the first thing I'll let you know is that, well, for now, I'm not in a position to speak on that mm. because uh, there's a director general for that commission that could give answers to that. Mm -hmm. But what I will tell you is that we are living in a digital world. Mm. And um, the, uh, the uh, initially, the old copyright act has no provision for digital piracy mm. piracy on the net that's where you get 
the music piracy mm -hmm. on the net and about today the new copyright act under the watchful eyes of the director general dr john Assen, oh. has provided this in the act that has been signed into law and gazetted by the federal government the digitalization of the world shows that in the website of the nigerian copyrights commission everything is so clear yeah. It's so clear, spelled out. Yeah. Spelled out. Okay. So it needs somebody or an artist to sit down, go to the website, and check all these things. But, uh, okay. I have a message from Lagos. Ladi from Lagos says something now. He's asking, he says um, his manager, that he had somebody who he wanted to be his manager, who is a relative of his. So Eriko Lebe, he had also identified and wanted to work with. But when he, they now met, the record label felt that that person who he chose to manage him would not do a good job in, ter in terms of making him blow up. So they chose somebody who they felt would be more competent, who would be able to do, you know, take them to where they wanted to go. And he says he's not happy about that. Who is not happy? Ladi is the person. He's that just is, coming out. He's a budgeting musician. Yes, he's yes. coming out. And yes. he, he now um, signed in somebody yes. Uh, yes. to produce him. Yes. You know? yes. And the person that the, the record label now so said, no, is not you can't do the work. Yes. Arbitration. Oh, that's arbitration. You go and settle it amicably out of court. See, I signed you before. This is the issues. This is it's it's it, it's a talking matter. It's not a, it's not that it's just a talking matter. Something about art line. Uh, yeah, you know, something coming. You know why it's unique? Yeah. Huh? Is that um, the producer Uma yeah. did her research. Okay. She said, "I need something artsy, yeah, yeah. Thing, that will fit in with." The dimension yeah, we are going to today. <laughs> and she I saw the that. real artist, <laughs> Daladi, all the way in Kaduna. And the way he wraps up oh, his awareness. I mean, he goes to the streets. So, yes. so that we start a discourse right from yes. there. Yes. Please join, join us. Let's watch us. Yes. Make your world beautiful. All in creating a mural uh, first of all as a street artist or as a mural artist I don't vandalize people's wall. What I do is that anytime I have a mural a wall in a very good location possibly where pedestrians do pass. So I ask about the, the building that I intend to use get the contact of the, the owner of the house or get to meet the person and then I discuss the idea. I tell them about the mural painting I intend to do on their wall. If they give me permission, I go ahead to start my painting. So when they agree for me to use their walls, first thing I do is I first prepare the walls by applying um, white emotion paint to prepare the wall for the sketch. After that, the next step is to start my sketch. After the sketching, then I now start painting. And that's the, actually the final stage. The main work is actually in the sketch. Once I get my sketch right, painting becomes easy. It depends on the uh, dimension of the wall and also the size of the design that I intend to paint. Like the painting of Mobad I finished recently it took me about three days to finish. But when I started initially, it was not like that. It used to take me like one week before I can finish a mural painting. As I keep on practicing, I keep on getting better and faster. I find my inspiration from, from God because he's the creator of everything. And I also find my inspiration in the daily activities, the daily things that are actually happening with me and around me. Like the painting of the Hausa Ibu and Yoruba eating on one place together is actually what I grew up seeing in Kaduna here, where people from different states live together in peace, living as brothers, despite their different ethnic backgrounds or different religions. My arts are actually important to the society because as a street artist, I take my works out there to the people on the street. Instead of uh, painting and just putting them in a studio, 
where only a limited number of people will get to see them. So instead of painting and just putting them in a gallery, I want to take my artworks to the streets where even people who don't have access to art galleries can be able to see and also be able to relate with my messages. Because uh, street arts uh, can be used as a tool to also call for justice, for equity, and also to, for, to advocate for positive change in the society. I also intend to use my artworks to promote social justice, to encourage um, living in peace and in unity. And also one of the advantages again of street art is to beautify the community. Aside just passing messages, the difference before and after painting is actually something I love seeing people passing by, interacting, like seeing my ass on the streets, sparking conversations about social issues. I actually feel it's a tool because personally, I'm not a person that talks too much. So I see the street art as a way for me to see what is going on in my mind within me and around me. I am actually attached to almost all of my paintings. If you say it seems I'm attached to the painting of Mobad, I won't disagree because Mobad is just like many of us who faced uh, the pain while he was still alive, that he was being bullied, he was going through a lot, even through his music and all that. So I just decided to create this painting to call for justice and to also lend my voice through my art. My favorite medium is, is acrylic. I use acrylic paints and also oil paints. And sometimes I use spray. So much talent there, than Ladi Bameyi, making the streets of Kaduna very beautiful with his creativity. That's so beautiful. While that was going on, we were speaking with our guest who is still in the house and he was talking and seeing the need for an artist like Mr. Bameyi to have his work done properly by making sure he has a copyright to them. Uh, talk more about that. Um, for what I have seen oh. with Bami is um, most of the time he is a freelance artist, yes. a street artist, and for a street artist he has to understand how to put his works down on paper. If you put your works down on paper, it's simple. You get what you have done to the to the copyright commission you get to the e-registration platform the e-registration platform takes your work to uh, to the copyright database it is known that this work belongs to you it assists you in tracing your work at any time at any point in time and it assists you when there is a litigation you can be able to stand firm my take on the uh, on the street artist when i say artist i mean painting right. drawing is that uh the artist are much he's not the only one yes, well, the and, and, and his work can be can be done by anybody oh. and if it is replicated by anybody what proof does he have that is his work that it was the original artist what proof he doesn't have any proof for instance when i was in when i was uh, head of enforcement an issue came with the uh, the portrait of the president the former president, the good luck Jonathan, and that portrait was seized by the present DG when he was a director. He led that operation, which is that portrait. The portrait was with us. The, the photographer of the president was the person that took that picture. Okay. But an artist went and drew that picture. So we okay. had to go in and see it. Because we do that, the commission do that kind of work. Okay, what was the issue now? Um, um, the um, issue is not I yes, drew. I drew. The creativity is not the issue. The creativity is with the photographer. For real, sir? Yes. Okay, so if that artist wanted to draw, he needed to have spoken to okay. him first permission okay. before replicating. Thank you. Okay, so I was asking a question. I just told you now while we're on break that I do a little write up. I put down my thoughts, and most times when I put them down, I post them on Facebook. 
can I still go through the process of registering those works? And of course, yes. Oh, okay. You see, you put them on Facebook. Yes. Yeah. What's your condition? Supposing uh -huh. you go to court <laughs> and you are being asked that how do you prove that this job work is your own? <laughs> yes, it could be yours. But how do you now prove that this work is your own? You need to put something down. That this work belongs to me. Hmm. I have a copyright certificate or an e, e, an e certificate Please. on this work. What is influencing our, our, our artists now? They just sing. I don't want some some lyrics that you know to even repeat. They just sing anything. How do we go back to those days where a musician, an artist, will sing a song and it will speak to situations around you, be it any form of situation? How do we get back to that place? Instead of just singing. I don't want to sing any song, but songs that are not. I you understand know. you. Yeah. But you should understand that times change. Sure. There is a revolution of time. Where we were mm. then is not where we are today. You can imagine you, your own child in the house. You are talking, he talks back at you. Who are you then to talk back at your exactly. parents? Mm. That is the first thing you should Values understand. Values are changing. Yes. And secondly, if you go on stage, because um, I have tested the other side of trying to be an artist. Oh, okay. And I have come to, uh, with the, um, the government job I am doing, I know they are pain. But you see, today, people, artists don't, they don't really care what they sing as long as it brings money. First of all, the whole world, who will go and sing wonderful gospel music and make a lot of money? Mm. They need to sing the other side that uh, <laughs> uh, uh, to, make, to, to make enough money. Yes, gospel, fine, church songs, Sunday when you go, fine. Mm. But when they start sing, when they start singing the other side, they are think circular, circular that you think it is not correct. You mm. think it is not correct. To the generation we are in, it could be correct today. Okay, yes. okay. Please hold that thought, and many of us, I'm sure, you are pondering over. As we go to Kano, in Kano, getting about comparing music icons, we do know what it means to be regarded and esteemed as an icon in the entertainment industry. It is huge. At what point do you become an, an icon? Even to bring your name to a table for comparison, you must be huge. You must have blown. Yeah. Kano, tell us, who are you comparing and with who? The scope of life is enormous and could have been covered by the trending Hausa musical artist in Kano to send crucial messages to the people. Today, huge proportion of musicians here sing mainly for love and marriage to entertain merely their young peers. Most of them hold the viewpoint that they are in business, thereby go for what is needed in the market. Industry in Yata Swanega, Kayuaka film, a biaka, so Haka Akaraga Akasawa, so Siki again, Kamar Idamba and film scaver, so Basu the one to hang in the last of some quick. So Idamkuma Babu Riba, Chikizanga, woman, Bakuan is you when you are good and Kishan and woman, sir, Koyan and Sonya Chimo, the good in the Others believe that like Kanye Wood House of Films, House of Musicals are the offshoot of Indian musicals that are merely for love. The background and the foundation of House of Films and House of Music, music comes from India. So that is why and when you look at it critically, about 80 to 90 percent of the Indian films are based love of love. In recent years, Few other musicians chose to explore the wide neglected aspect to make stronger impact on lives of the people. Adam Abdullahi Abubakar, popularly called Fresh Emir, is into house hip hop style of music, and with that, he delved into social circumstances such as kindness, poverty, sympathy, governance, respect for elders, a role of parents. Basi kai wak asuye ya, ba kumsi kai wak basa sananza ke dokaka ba. Kuma 
abinda muta san mu ya kamata su fahimta cewa kada su la'akari da kudi domin wani abu mai kyau shine abinda ya kamata duka abinda za ka yi muna kallon magaba ta a ce mazan jiya sun yi abu kaza na gogwar maya kuma yanzu ba sa amma aikin su mai kyau din yana his song akume bakin magana is on rap cases occurring in our society like fresh emia akume bakin magana when you look at his hip hop style is directly sending a good message to the people and good message to the governors trying to bring about their eyes in something that they don't know ayo the magana ayo ina da korafi kan kananan yaran da aka tuwa zarafi mutattauna kan shi gani na zafi mun bar masallan haka ta yaya zai tafi hmm dole mu gyara saboda haka na jawo sara na rai da dukiya domin ko da yin nera inda ya rikace ta yaya za a yi haka kafara hmm ko da yin dukiya ko ko saboda neman duniya ya saka mai da kanka kare mara zuciya hmm magana na kiya kan fiyari wani katun ba za a biya ka ya fiyari kana ji kana gani amma kana zoran fa dai to in ma ka fada a banza saboda shi wanda yayi abu yin yana da boss za a tija maka hankali har ka ga babu haza ba kai wasa ba sunan yar ka sa a canza ai mana sai a kira ta karuwa in ka ramati a kira ta mai rokorwa ka rasa mai mutane suka dauki rayuwa yana da kyau mu dauko wace mace yar ruwa Hardcore hip hop style is usually known to go with abusive language and even insult performed by some American musicians but this guy does the opposite <laughs> Today Fresh Emi gains a lot of supporters that enjoy and benefit from wide range of messages he passes across. Adam's hip hop style motivates many upcoming artists who are now taking his footsteps. Kind of blasting and busting vibes like I've never heard before. I didn't know Kano, I, I, this is an eye opener. I mean, so many talented artists doing well. Thelma, did you just watch that? Oh, see the house I rap. Yes, and uh, Mr. Austin Mr. was shit. In fact, all here was the best 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 And he says that he's been, in fact, if we hear him sing. Oh, okay, so let's just tell us. You know, it's on the side of the table. <laughs> side of the table. So let's bless us with something. Uh, my take is that most of the time, I tried to, as part of my recreation, mm. I tried to play house and music. Mm. And um, most of the artists that play, I know some of them. And um, I, I just use it as pastime to make myself happy. And, and others too. Mm. And others. Mm -hmm. mm. So they are going to make us happy. Let me just try and see. <laughs> Let me just try and see if I can do one of the old ones for okay. you shortly. Yeah. I'm not going to go all the whole hall. Yeah, just small. Yeah, just small. Uh, it's a story of a, of a Fulani girl that um, ran away with the son of her lover. Mm -hmm. And the son of the, 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 where the lover was looking for her. That's why it's, I'm going to try to see if we can use a cappella. Sauri sauri ina tekeni kuma sauri sauri kuma ne bangan tawa kuma ni was time o gashi na futa a cikin dawa na neman masauina na je gidanta an ce yanzu ta futa na dawo ni bangan tawa in english it goes me on stano i am looking for my lover i do ya who likes me i want to cry this is the issue is this is the song of Roxy Kashim Kashif of Kaduna. He's late. Uh, a lot of respect for him because I knew him when I was growing. Wonderful artist. He had so many. So many. But at the end of the day, there was no recording. There was it's only some of us that knew him, that knew he played music.
So it's like he uh, died in a motor accident. So a lot of respect. So it's like uh, that song you sang. Now, do you have the permission to sing it here? I do not. Do we come to you and detail you? Make <laughs> <laughs> inquiries. Where, 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 where is it that says? That's mm. why I had to give him a call. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. yes, yes Even exactly. if you are writing a book, yes. you should be able to refer. Yeah. yeah. To the original. Yeah. That's what I'm that telling you. you know, the original like of the perfect. person that sang this song. Mm. But we took it up so that his spirit continues to live on. Mm. That's nice. Mm. It was on a lighter note. Yes. Yes. So yes. Very very light. Light. Yeah. 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 Totally yeah. amazing. Now that you have retired, let's hear some things from the tables of Mr. Modo. Are we waiting? Is anything coming up? <laughs> <laughs> That's my secret. Okay. But let me ask you, oh. let me ask you, based on what we're facing now, or what has brought this information to the table while we're discussing influences and consequences, okay. um, what do you think, in your own, uh, with your own experience, which you are blending to us today, what do you think is the biggest challenge that the entertainment industry faces today? That has brought us to this discourse at this point. Okay, where Tama, we are. Um, Sokoto is eager to join the conversation. Okay. Yes, just hold that question. That question, the answer, hold it on. Let's quickly go over to Sokoto and the the title of their contribution is peer pressure. Negative peer pressure has so many consequences. It can lead to low self esteem. It can lead to drug abuse. It can even cause death. Or maybe like um, for ladies, it can even lead to you having pregnancies that are that are um, unwanted. An individual that was pressurized to go into smoking or uh, becomes a drug addict by the spare group. Becomes, it becomes an addiction to him and he actually becomes a nuisance to, the, to his parents, to himself and to the society as a whole. The phenomenon peer pressure relates to boys and girls that have the same stand with each other, being equal and belonging to the same strata of life. The boys experience it much than the girls, but both of them have it. Why I will say the boys is because I realize that parents pay more attention in secluding the girls, but they allow the boys to go out. Girls can easily be influenced by fellow girls, positively or negatively as the case may be. Likewise, boys have also the tendency of being influenced by boys themselves. Peer pressure, as a secondary agent of socialization has a strong influence which can be negative or positive. If you are with a good person who has a positive outlook on life, who has a functional uh, positive socialization, he can impact on the, that person. So it's peer pressure about what? The positive one. So also if that person is uh, unserious, uh, he lacks focus, he lacks vision, he is a, what we call a, a no future ambition. So that one also may have negative uh, pleasure influence on that person. It is either you are adopting their own character or they are adapting your own. So one must influence one, one of the other. So the best thing is check who are your friends. They said either say tell me your friend and I will tell you who you are. So peer pressure goes a long way in influencing one's character one's behavior and one's uh, career and life or attitude. Reports have it that the most critical age for peer group influence is the adolescence period. The psychologist will tell you that we need to be extremely careful and we need to what? To monitor our children at that a very critical age. To put them in a right setting. Uh, schooling, good behavior, good conduct, good uh, virtuous uh, uh, social behavior and so on. Parents have a crucial role to play in the upbringing, character modeling, education and socialization of their words. If you as a parent tells your child, I must know who your friends are, I must speak your friends for you, uh -huh. or bring your friends home, some of us don't allow children to bring their friends home. If they don't bring their friends home, that means you are, you are, the character of your child or your ward will be mad by somebody else. So if you invest your time, you invest your energy, you invest everything on your child, he will feel guilty. And this is one of the most, this is one of the informal social control to the children. Experts are of the opinion that the influence of handsets on our children 
is more than peer group pressure. Because your child may be right inside the room, but you're receiving messages and acting on those messages. So it's another peer group has it. So even if you disallow them from going out, maybe because you find that the child will not be safe going to where he or she wants to go, the friends are there communicating with him right inside his room. The impact of phones on peer group is a great pressure that negatively affects our children. This is a clarion call to parents to checkmate who your children associate with and how they use their phones. If we bring this peer pressure to several engagements, several industries, you will find that uh, sometimes the pressure is not even physical. The fact that somebody who they like and want to role model themselves after is doing something, whether it's right or wrong, many people will copy it. Exactly. And it's even exactly. more challenging and debilitating when it is physical. Physical. Somebody is telling your child, mm. son or daughter, this is the better way to do it. do it. Let's yeah. do it this way, we'll be fine doing it. And sometimes it's not in our best interest. Exactly. I know that just now, uh, Mr. Augustine Amodu said that from 10 to 20, Teachers, neighbors, parents, Everybody. all hands should be on deck for the children. That's where we can miss some things that they are doing. We know that Joss is ready to be a part of this conversation. And in just a few minutes, we'll touch down there, isn't mm, it? Yes, patients. But in the meantime, we ask you a question before patients took us to Sokoto about what you think are the biggest challenges that we face that have led us to bring this topic to the fore today influences Influence. and consequences the challenges are enormous mm. if you want to mention them so let's just take a few and talk about them mm. um you had what sokoto said peer groups. peer groups they influence children like um a child sees what one is doing and wants to be like that person mm -hmm. and he thinks what that person is doing is right mm -hmm. which might be wrong in the eyes of a particular section of the society you don't live independent of the material conception of the society in which you are living in you don't live in the air the truth of the matter is that you see the way children dress nowadays mm -hmm. they sag they have dada they do all sorts of things which is not commensurate to the culture mm -hmm. of any part of Nigeria. As we keep talking about this, I just said something. I said, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Mori said that um, a lot of artists, they're singing songs that are not making us proud, using lyrics that are not making us proud. But I said, I remember what Africa, African Queen did for the African woman. Mm. It made us proud. It made us know, know that we can even be beautiful without her. She mm. first came to the scene and gave us our pride. Gave us a and new and Hollywood called and Hollywood called and said, we want this song. Give us a new narrative. Yeah, so indeed, we can do indeed. it as TV More products. Nigerian entertainers should embody what two faces. Indeed, yes. celebrate our rich cultural yeah. heritage and our norms yeah. Yeah. and traditions okay keep doing that do it the right way right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. make money right. Right. Final words. yes well uh, saying bye-bye anyway the word my final word is quite simple and mm. short mm. Uh, i implore all nigerian artists to key to digitalization okay. that is happening all over the world, world. and um, they should get closer to the nigerian copyrights commission yeah. to get education yes. especially under the watchful eye of dr john Hassan. all right bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. and make money <laughs>